up everybody? Peter McKinnon here. I'm about to drive two hours east. I'm driving two hours west to meet my only friend that lives that far west, uh, Ryan Savin. Now you guys know him. He's the owner operator of that leather shop called Little King Goods. There's a particular reason I wanna go, not only just to see Ryan, what's up man, but I want to test out a camera that I wasn't able to test out last week. You probably already know what I'm thinking about. Before you say anything, that, this is not a bong. This is a coffee siphon. Okay. There it is. What is that, you ask? That's the 1DX Mark III, literally like three days after I made that little video at their HQ. I've got a memory card in it, ready to go, because it's one of those new CFast Express. So I just got one of those little bad boys. Gonna pack a bag, make this happen. I'm gonna switch over to the 1DX Mark III now. I'm not gonna use this R to vlog because I'm pretty sure the 1DX3 does 4K full frame, 24 frames per second. So we may as well utilize that and test it out and see how it looks both in B-roll and vlogging and you know everyday things that I would use it for and maybe some of you would use it for too. So switching over to the 1DX Mark III right now. It has been almost a year since I have vlogged with a 1DX Mark II. That means I can't see myself. I'm totally used to the screen now and I do not have that anymore. So it's, uh, it's been a little bit of an adjustment getting back to using a camera like this for vlogging. I am at my friend Ryan's shop, his leather shop, which obviously, if you remember that first video, is no longer in his basement. He's just built this new beautiful space, renovated it, and I thought it would be perfect to both vlog with the 1DX to show you guys an example of how that would look using this camera for that particular aspect of filmmaking, and then obviously my first crack at shooting some nice, tasty, buttery B-roll with the new 1DX Mark III. I'm also using the face tracking right now because I started using that a lot with the EOS R, so I kind of wanted to see how good it was for someone that moves around. Oh, that just happened. Let's do like a little shop tour and just see how this, uh, this 4K footage looks nice and crispy after uh, doing some talking head stuff. Ryan. What's what up? is up, dude? Thanks for thanks for having me. Welcome back. It has been a minute, man. Thanks for coming, dude. How has the channel been going? First, how has YouTube been going for you? Unreal. I have no other way of explaining it. It just it seems like a dream, <laughs> and every day you wake up thinking like, I'm living my dream. This place looks amazing. You have so you did this all yourself. It took a while, you know, running a full time leathercraft brand and building stuff. Man, I don't know how I did it. I know it's not officially done yet. It's not finished. But let's do a super fast tour let's and then let's, let's get to shooting some like, some slow motion buttery goodness. Over in this part of my workshop, I've got all my dies that I've got, you know, made custom for me, my designs. Mm. Yeah, so I just grab my dies here, put them in this beauty of a beast. I have wanted one of these forever, dude. Every leather crafter wants a clicker press. Explain the marvel of a clicker press because this right here, just touching it is an honor. Right after Peter you know, uploaded his vlog, uh, the influx of orders was just, I couldn't do it all by hand. So <laughs> thanks Peter. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I had to pick up one of these and this has been a game changer lifesaver. This has been my favorite tool because it cuts out things accurately every single time and I love using it. It's kind of like a giant cookie cutter. Absolutely. For anything, really. I mean, you could like cookie cut like a leather. You want to <laughs> you want to you want to stick to leather. You could use but. it for cookies if you want. I mean, my wife would love it. Turn it on. Sounds like a jet. Not yet. Yeah. Oh, it's winding up. Three, two, one. I love that sound. <laughs> it's so good. It's moving. It's not <laughs> balanced. <laughs> Oh, I'm so hyped right now. Oh, it's so good. Should we click something out? I'm yeah, gonna get dude. Peter to click it out. Let's do 
let's see what we can do, like a keychain or something. Sure. I want this to fall. Perfect. These two buttons, right? Yep. Boom. Ooh, that easy. That was incredibly satisfying. I know, right? 25 ton clicker press. Uh, yeah, moving along. We're gonna go to the workbench where I, we're gonna, I guess we're gonna make one of these today. Let's do it, yeah. Start it, all right, let's, let's go. It. Okay. All right, so what, what happens over here? So what happens over here is we got this little anvil and we're gonna pick our hardware. I try and use brass because it just patinas like gold. Uh, that doesn't make sense. It looks really good. It looks good. really good. It patinas well, yeah. it matches well with leather. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it patinas like gold because it's brass. Yeah. Peter's a master at making keychains. I'm pretty good at the keychain. You game. should go pick up one of his keychains. I'm pretty good. They're way better than mine. <laughs> done. That's all the work I had to do today. Done. I just had one order. All right, thanks us. so much. We'll uh, see you on the next yeah, video. Peace. <laughs> All right, this is my sewing headquarters. This is where I do all my stitching when I'm not hand stitching. Over here is my, my press tools. And you know what? Just do your B-roll stuff, man. You're so good at it. <laughs> I'm boring the audience. The Just do the B-roll. <laughs> okay, cool. okay. Had to dump the footage twice. Five and a half K. Apple crumble. Done. We're done. That's a really dusty lens. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at it. Oh, that is bad. It looked great though. Okay, what do we have here? We got a minimalist front pocket carry wallet uh, out of Olive, Peter's favorite and one of my favorites. We made this keychain as well. And you know what? I think I think we should give them away. Don't you, Pete? Dude, great idea. To win the to win this wallet, this beautiful olive harness leather. Harness right? leather, yes. Unglazed, it'll just patina like a monster. Ooh, I'm pumped for you. Uh, to win this, head over to Ryan's channel, I'll link it below, and then find his most recent video and comment your favorite thing about his new shop. Give him a couple words of encouragement, tell him I sent you, say hi, and uh, he'll pick one of you guys and send you this fresh wallet to anywhere on the planet. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks this shop coming, is man. beautiful. You've done such, I can't believe you did this all yourself. This is so good. Thanks man. Leather craftsman, master electrician, master carpenter and contractor <laughs> and, and YouTuber. Dude, I just, I'm in the presence of greatness. And we got to use the 1DX Mark III. We did. Shot everything in 4K and 5.5K raw. And they sent me software to actually use to be able to even download this and look at it. So if you're watching this, we had success. If you never see this, then you won't even. There's no, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs>
That is beautiful. I'm not going to even touch that. Thank you. It's so good. Thank you.